Now, with all these these uh, these happy habits, qualities, attributes, whatever I have, I start pursuing my PhD because I, of course, I love that uh, that time to pursue my challenge. But of course, at the same time, it was a challenging for me. I got into PhD in the beginning. I was working with two professors, and somehow after one year, there was a problem with me and and, a, and one of the professor. I have to leave that professor. Then I, I I went to another professor, and of course, there was a negotiation, and he told me, of course, you can do whatever you want. But then he told me. The topic in which I was working, he will not be helpful to me because he's from the different background. Then, if I have to pursue with the same topic, I have to do everything myself. And then, of course, it was like a second time for me, second challenge for me that okay, whether I want to still take the same way or I I will give up and I will uh, let's say stand back and then start working on a different topic, which is easy, which would be easy for him and also for me. I took a time. I take a break again, one week, one and a half week, something like that. Then I decide no, I will do the same topic. Uh, whatever it will take, I will not give it, and I will do this. This how I then, then uh, let's say, based on um, on my previous experiences, I started to convert again this happening into possibilities and possibilities into results and goals and everything. After that, of course, I started to believe so much in myself, in my abilities, efforts, and of course, of course, for the instincts of turning things into possibilities and possibilities into into goals and achievements. I then, after my PhD, I did not again start. I, I did not stop. I got, I did four postdocs in last uh, seven and a half years almost. Then of course I got jobs also, jobs offered from many places. I, I take a break also, I was in Pakistan also, did a job there. Then I got two, three offers from abroad again from time to time. So it was a wonderful experience, a wonderful life I had with full of experiences, learnings. And of course the main message I want to say to the people is believe in yourself and believe in effort, believe in work also. And then you have to believe, I mean, you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to lead your life in a way that you have there, there should be believe inside you that you can make it happen you can make it everything is possible only you have to put in the effort which is equivalent to the result of that possibility